Welcome friends uh, to the session which is going to deal with global indicators and how the global indicators affect uh, the flight routes and uh, the travel by flight. My name is Amruta Haldankar and uh, I'm a trainer in aviation, tourism and hospitality. Now we have a second GI which is EH, Eastern Hemisphere. Now once when Eastern Hemisphere is the global indicator, this is when uh, we are talking about traffic conference area 2. So what is happening here is travel is within area 2. So uh, we are talking about area 2 which uh, includes Europe, Middle East and Africa. So if the flight is not leaving traffic conference area 2 and it is roaming only in traffic conference area 2 countries, then we are saying that uh, the global indicator routing is EH that is Eastern Hemisphere. So we have example over here this is MAD that's Madrid in Spain which is in Europe and area 2. Dubai which is in uh, UAE Middle East that is again in area 2. So here the flight is not leaving area 2. Then again we have uh, Jeddah which is in Saudi Arabia uh, Middle East and Johannesburg which is in uh, South Africa which is in Africa which is again in area 2. So here again the flight does not leave area 2. So clearly for this both the examples the global indicator which is uh, there is Eastern Hemisphere denoted by the letters EH. Now let us check EH on TC, uh, TC2 on the map. So we have Madrid which is here and Dubai which is here in Middle East and Jeddah which is again in Saudi Arabia and Johannesburg over here. So both of this routing that is from uh, Madrid to Dubai will be EH and again from Jeddah to uh, Johannesburg will be EH. Now there is Eastern Hemisphere again which uh, we can see is uh, when it comes when travel is within area 3. So this is uh, the second time when EH comes into picture so we can call this as case 2 of EH that is Eastern Hemisphere. So what is happening is if the travel is within area 3 we say that it's Eastern Hemisphere. So these are the examples over here we are talking about uh, Bombay which is Mumbai in India which is in area 3 alright and this is Osaka which is in Japan which is again in area 3. So the flight is not leaving area 3 so the global indicator routing is denoted by eastern hemisphere that's EH. Next is Kathmandu that we have which is in Nepal and uh, Taipei which is in Chinese Taipei which is again in area 3. So here again the flight does not leave area 3. So clearly the global indicator happens to be only EH. Now let us check EHTC3 on the map. So we had the routing as uh, Mumbai which is in India and Osaka over here at Japan. And then we had one more routing of Kathmandu, Nepal to uh, Taipei which is here. So in either case the flight does not leave EH uh, uh, that is uh, traffic conference area 3 so it's EH. Now we have EH again uh, coming in one more case wherein the travel is between TC2 and TC3. That is if the flight is going uh, between TC2 countries and TC3 countries it may also be Eastern Hemisphere. But there are certain conditions. When is EH? Uh, it is not there for routings which may fall under the routings or under the conditions of AP, RU, TS, FE which are the global indicators which we are going to start for uh, think of later. And uh, the there is one more condition it is not applicable if there is a non-stop service between the countries falling under Europe traffic conference and uh, JAPCOR countries. So if these conditions are there then it cannot be EH. Apart from that uh, it is definitely an EH. So we have EH for uh, 2, 3 for on the map. So we have Madrid which is here in Spain. Then we have uh, Bombay which is in India which is area 3. So area 2, area 3 that will be EH. And uh, Sydney which is in Australia. Next is uh, Beijing which is in China. And uh, Abu Dhabi which is in Middle East. So we have TC3 and TC2. Uh, so that's EH, TC2, 3.